You're listening to the best gospel station in Thomasville, North Carolina, 103.1 FM, WEON. Here we go, here we go. Good, here, here we, we go. go. How y'all doing out there? This is KD and Motormouth, and we're going to have this open show for you today. <laughs> hey, KD, how you doing? I hear you've been um, working on a few things, and uh, we're going to bring in uh, some new vendors that will work with the shop for me to show hopefully yeah and um that's the plan the one about the skincare really interests me uh share a little bit of that with me that you know you was talking about what you found out and found this company that got these excellent products yeah you know for the hair and and uh the body so uh elaborate a little bit on those well you know i've actually been doing a little research because you know i I like natural and organics and i just do i like Mm -hmm. anything plant-based i'm pretty much on it and i like natural um soaps natural butters natural products i always have even as a kid i was one as a kid it would get my little play-doh and just mix it up with everything you know put stuff in the lotion bottle so so i like the researching and try to find the the most almost at the hip but one of the most things that are really out that's really active and working Mm-hmm. So I've been looking into um, shea butter and black soap, which is pretty popular. You know, everybody's kind of pretty much at this point aware of what shea butter and black soap is, unless they've right. been hiding under the rock okay. because mm-hmm. you know it's all over every package in every place, yeah, I everywhere. See all, all product, a lot of products now. Oh, yeah. in the last five years, oh yeah, like Dove and a couple everybody. Other, yeah, they, everybody using it now. Yeah, seem like it's a keyword. Yeah, it really you is. Know. But I think mm-hmm. the key to the keyword is how much butter or how much of any ingredient that's listed on a label is technically inside a package for any product that you buy because yeah. I, that's the thing mm. you know you can technically put what oh zero percent close <laughs> to zero percent zero one and and uh, call it yeah, yeah you really can product, yeah technically you could take an average bottle or average jar like four ounces well, like what's what's something is that comes in a four ounce jar that everybody's seen in their lifetime it's just common um mm-hmm I'm trying to think of some uh, uh, something offhand. It's in everybody's house on a four ounce jar. I know at one time uh, in a certain ethnic group, Vaseline was Vaseline, in everybody. Vaseline. It's a good yeah. example. Everybody had yeah. a jar of Vaseline. Or Murray <laughs> <laughs> for the guys who wanted waves. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the Murrays, because yeah. my brother used to use that. And uh, Noxzema, you know. Noxzema. The, yeah. Perfect example. Right. The little navy blue jar with the cold cream in it. Noxzema. Okay. We're dating ourselves. Do they still make Noxzema? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Noxzema's still out there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, Noxzema's a perfect example. That's a, a standard example of what a four-ounce jar looks like. Mm-hmm. So technically, in the Murray's, that the Murray's it used to come in a little, like, a little orange black yeah. container uh-huh. for the guys that used to want to wave their hair. Right. Th- that's about two ounces. I'm going by uh, visual. I remember visual. you could get big ones, small ones. Oh, it came yeah. in a big oh, yeah. size, it came too. in a different size. And also, the other blue hair dressing, that uh, blue and kind of bluish green. They oh, two different Ultra grades. Sheen from yeah. back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's still on the shelf. They you know? still make Ultra Sheen? Oh, yes, that's still Whoa. on the shelf. I know that used to be the Johnson's family thing, Ultra Sheen, Fashion Fair. Mm-hmm. Okay, we really back in the day. But that's just how it was. Then because well, that's where it got started. Yeah, back mm-hmm. in the day, it wasn't like you would go into any store and see um, a slob of products, especially it, as far as the ethnic community. It just exactly. didn't exist. Mm-hmm. Because I was talking to my nieces about her um I mean, they take things for granted, even though it's not as diverse as it should be now. But they were right. laughing because I was telling them when I was their age, I feel like I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Helen <laughs> Rubenstein and all that other crazy stuff. No, it stuff. wasn't Helen. Clear I'm, all. No, <laughs> no, you're speaking for yourself. I'm speaking Clear for all myself. And all that. No, know, it was like there. Cody and um, Bonnie Bell stuff and yeah. what. Uh, but it, uh, but I wasn't even getting that deep with it. It was just the idea that I couldn't, like, go to any mainstream store and just buy a pair of pantyhose because everybody wore pantyhose mm-hmm. then. It, you just didn't put on a dress without pantyhose. You just didn't do it. And find stockings that even came in different shades and colors of brown. It just wasn't going to happen. It just didn't happen. Really? I'm serious. Didn't oh. happen. So what you did, well, stop looking at me like I'm like 102. Well, I can, I'm just remember, <laughs> I can remember my mother sending me to the store getting different shades of this, that, and I that. I can't that help and, that, Mona. You know? I'm just telling you my experience. Yeah, I'm telling you. you, when I was a teenager, it was, wasn't, like, I think it was like when Essence Magazine came out. That's when I recall a couple of years even after that. When you could actually, I cannot think of the product line, but when they actually started making stockings and pantyhose, 
in in brown okay don't get me wrong they had brown but it was like this it was a brown that really wasn't for people of color mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes any sense i just remember many different shades it of was brown. a strange yeah. looking shade of brown that didn't yeah, even look like it was even be close snatch, to being fish nets and all something that, like your, your lady uh -uh. That. Yeah. but it just wasn't i mean even with makeup the foundation forget it wasn't gonna happen they didn't mm -hmm. have foundation where you could actually go and have a selection. They might yeah, have. I remember when they started I mean, coming out with that's that. That's just reality. You know, but it was, I mean, they didn't count us. They you didn't. Know, there's a certain ethnic they group didn't. they just didn't count. They really didn't. I mean, the foundation. For the clothes the or clothes, anything. The, yeah. that, so I'm, I'm not what making this up. You? <laughs> you know, the stockings and all that. No, there yeah. was no brown that you could really put on as a, as a, a African-American young woman or even grown woman and just mm -mm, didn't happen. It wasn't the norm. Mm-hmm. So they looked at me like I dropped off Pluto, and I, you know, with dinosaurs going up and down the road too. But you know, but that was, believe it or not, it really wasn't that long ago. But to get back to the to the subject at hand, products have changed a lot over the years since from from the time I was in high school to you know as it mm -hmm. is now. And what's also different is the um, the requirements for labeling and packaging. We try. I'm trying to stay on point and stress the point that you can have a new hot. Um, oil or butter or whatever is the hot you know keyword as you put it now and have a four ounce jar equivalent to a jar of noxzema as a perfect example and exactly. say oh i have shea butter in it and technically you can get you an eyedropper as a manufacturer and put under a half of one percent and technically be able to say that it's a shea butter product when in reality is you really don't have enough shea butter in it to really <laughs> do anything but you can use it as a marketing tool exactly mm -hmm. so i know exactly what you mean yeah because there's you know water i always call it the watered down version yeah the watered down effect <laughs> yeah. you know where you really don't get what you really supposed to be getting right and you so know, you're just getting the name and that's it and yeah. the rest of it could be chemicals right uh, and uh and, and they want to say 100 percent natural you know naturally chemicals you know <laughs> yeah, well, that's or true the fillers or whatsoever it's true because the word natural and organic and all of that is um right overplayed misused but getting back to um what we were talking about what i was asking you about what you've been busy on so name some of the um oils uh, you know the plant serve life that I've been kind of curious been, yeah, about. You've been well, I've been looking at the new hot ones that are out now because um, I like natural products. Like I said, I had eczema as a kid that drove me crazy. Um, I, I've gone through the thing, going to the dermatologist and you know, all that crazy stuff, and they just give you these little greasy steroid creams that you put on your skin, and it looks awful. And as a black woman, when you have eczema, especially as a teenager, when you go to, I mean, it's awful because, first of all, people think that you have some contagious. Eczema is not contagious. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just very irritating yeah. to the person that deals with it, but it's not contagious. Well, you, when, you, when you look at somebody really bad, and that, that's the first thing that comes to your yeah. mind, especially if you haven't been educated You look about contagious, it. exactly. Yeah. And then to make it worse, when it starts to heal up, regardless of how long that actually takes, me, I'm the type of person, I can get a mosquito bite and it leaves a scar. You know, it can mm -hmm. take forever. And whether I scratch it or not, it just leaves a scar, a dark scar, which co causes discoloration. Exactly. So so I decided, you know, that's what another way I actually got into looking into, re well, trying to research my own products that were a little bit more natural. And that were actually active and beneficial and actually work. But to answer your question, I've been looking into the new keyword products and um, so what came to my mind, first of all, was argan oil. I like argan oil, and I like um, marula oil. Well, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that. This this crazy woman I know, mm -hmm. and she kind of, you know, she got a company called aromak.com, mm -hmm. and she introduced me to that. Mm -hmm. um, I can't re really recall if I ever ran into it in the past, but mm -hmm. she gave it to me nice and fresh, creamy and smooth, and I must say, it's it's a real good product. Mm -hmm. Have you tried her product yet? Yeah, I have. But I'm curious, like, I guess because I yeah. want the male perspective. Men don't usually, um, well, I know I'm generalizing a lot because we do have a lot of metro males that are into their skincare and everything. But what, what is it about it that you like? Just from the male point of view, I'm curious. You said you tried it. I'm going to well, follow up on mine, idea, too. Well, it's just the moistness. You know, all of us need, regardless if you're male or female, you need to moisturize your skin yeah. and take care of it. You know I mean, after all, your skin is the biggest organ on your body. It is. Yeah, yeah. you know, so it eat too. And many of us have what you want to say, malnourished uh, skin. You sure. know, where we don't really take care of We just get in the shower. 
or in the bathtub, wash down with the soap and everything to dry us out, and then we just dry off and shoot on down the street, you know, put yeah. on our clothes and going out the door, you know, rushing out. True. So I just think that, you know, something that's easy, light, um, that can help you, you know, maintain, you know, healthy skin, mm -hmm. um, I'm down for it, you know, and I find that I like, you know, natural products, you know, mm -hmm. uh, holistic, you know, things, you know, for, for my skin and everything, because as again, as, as I mentioned, it's an organ, it's my largest organ on it my is. body. And it's eating. I just want it to be nice and healthy. You true, know? true. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why I'm I'm into it. You know. True. Yes. And, and, and along that same line, you get me thinking. I had a conversation with a friend of mine in Texas this weekend, and I was teasing her because she was um <laughs> she was talking about she didn't have money to go to the spa and what she was gonna do. <laughs> mm -hmm. As part of her, you know, weekend really beauty beauty ritual. And it's exactly. such a ritual with her until you know someone actually moved her bath salts out of the ba out of the, out of the, the bathroom, yeah. and she got so upset about it. She came down the hall with a towel dripping wet and ran everybody out the house. She said, "I don't know what I was PMS and menopause. I don't know. I just know I ran everybody out because I was pissed because they moved my bath salts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's ready to kill somebody." But reality is, is, when you do that, it does put you in a certain zone. Because reality is, you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And the little things that you do, I know some people actually don't even wear lotion. I, I How can you not wear lotion? I could say from back in the yeah. day, I guess it's all in how you are um, brought up. But I grew up with, uh, you know, sisters and one brother. And my mom was a stickler for just what I call skin care now, but it was just how she was. Well, You didn't leave mom, the house without something on your skin. You know, I know it might be uh, ethnic what I'm going to say, but my mom and dad didn't play with no ashy skin. Oh, I'm saying you don't leave yeah. ashy. I don't, uh, and I don't, mom. back in the day, even if you didn't have lotion, you better get that jar of Vaseline or whatever. Right. You don't mm -hmm. walk out of the door ashy. <laughs> That's Vaseline, no, no. Mineral, <laughs> mineral oil, whatever, something to, to moisten you. Thank you. Yeah. But the point I was trying to bring up with my friend was she was telling me that she used um, some bath sauce that she got from Walmart, I think it was, uh, already prepared in the container. Mm -hmm. And then she took baby oil and mineral oil and put it in the bathtub and made like a little, uh, like a play play scrub. Right. And I was saying, girl, please, you use it. I mean, not that I'm dogging mineral oil. We've all done it. We've all used Vaseline. And uh, I told her really and truly, um, you use what you have when when you're able to use it, you know, especially if you're on a budget, you have to be creative. But she was asking me a question that I guess a lot of other people had. She said, well, what's wrong with mineral oil? Well, you know, I uh, have been told mineral oil do a lot of valuable things to the organ. And once again, to your system, it's kind of can also work like a laxative on you. I bet it yeah. can, because it is. But for my thing yeah. is, you know, I'm not dogging mineral oil, but it wouldn't be my oil of choice. And like I was telling mm -hmm. her, there are so many other things that you can use that are just as cost effective, in my opinion, that do bet that bet treat your skin better. Mineral oil, in my opinion, um, clogs your pores up. That's just yeah. what I don't like about but it. But it is natural, though, isn't it? It's I natural. thought mineral oil was from the petroleum industry. Right. That's a natural. If I'm recalling right, a, that's a natural. My thing is petroleum industry. It, yeah, yeah you know, it's like petroleum. You know, the people like they make gas gasoline. You know, that we put in our car. It's a byproduct of the petroleum industry. You'd be industry. surprised at how much petroleum your body got. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I think what I it mean, is. you know, when you talk about the gas and all. <laughs> but, see, that's a natural produced gas. Right. <laughs> so that's coming petroleum from a Petroleum coming from, a, from the gasoline industry right. is not what I would classify as a natural product. But you'd be surprised at, you know, with the idea of petroleum mm -hmm. um, from the natural state, you know, all the products and everything, because, it blew me away when I found out, you know, like magnetic tapes that we, that's petroleum. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, that's fine because uh, I'm not putting that on my thing, face at night. You know what I right, mean? Right. You know, just the different products that yeah. come from, you know, but yeah. it's come from something natural. It come from the earth. Yeah, but I, yeah. all I'm saying is, you but know. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, though. there's a lot of things that are wonderful for the, for the petroleum industry. Don't get me wrong. But again, I'm not eating it. I'm not putting yeah. it in my body. I don't wash my face with it. You know, everything mm -hmm. has its place and everything has its origins and everything has you know its role i guess is what i'm trying to say in society but i just don't think that, that gasoline like bp and shell i don't want it their byproduct it's, oh, yeah. it wouldn't be my preferred op option as far as the oil to, to actually put on my face because rally is what you put on your face and what you put on your body like you say what's on the outside is going to go on, on the, the inside, inside. Actually, you have pores that are open hello 
Yeah. And I was, she was asking me, so you know, she was asking me what was wrong. I said, well, that's not saying there's anything wrong with it, but it wouldn't be my preferred choice. There are other right. options. Mm-hmm. And then she was telling me how cheap it was. And it is cheap. It's cheap. But I was telling her, you can just go old school and get you some castor. And we started talking about castor oil back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's got awful as it was. But like I was saying, as a kid, you know, I grew up with nurses, a family of nurses and teachers. And my God, you didn't even have to be sick. They line us up. I'm gonna get your dose of castor. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. that stuff is awful. But looking back, I mean, I guess again, everything has its reason. It's about prevention, and it definitely helped. I guess to yeah. keep us healthy. <laughs> but you can, you know, the point I'm trying to make is you can get castor oil. It's not that expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very thick. And exactly. it wouldn't be something that I would want to use, uh, you know, on a, on a certain quantity, but it wouldn't take a lot, and it would be a more healthier alternative. And it is a plant-based oil. Yeah, well, you know, also you can go to some of the dollar stores and yeah. catch some good deals on some Yeah, some get some, something more so natural. There, yeah, you know, people got many options out there if they just shop wisely. Exactly. And, um, and, and ca- search for them. Exactly, and kind of mm-hmm. have an understanding of what you're looking for. That's all. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, you know, coming in and uh, uh, acting like you're a guest, okay? This is this is her show, you know. I'm going to treat her like a guest, though. But um, breaking it, you know, in, uh, sharing the knowledge and the wisdom. Right. And we're going to have to definitely follow back up on it, you know. Yeah, because you uh, need to check out that marula and that argon because it's some good stuff. I mean, I don't normally get this excited about an oil, but I actually tried it, too. And what I like about it, um, because first of all, because I had I had acne about all of my teenage years, to be honest. And Mm -hmm. my young adult, even when I was a a young married woman with a child, had acne and uh, eczema. But so I grew up in the area where you look for everything on the label saying um, oil free. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? So the concept of putting oil on my face was just like a no, no, even. Yeah. mm -mm. So it takes a lot for me to put oil on my face because I'm always afraid I'm going to break out. But what I like about it is pretty much what you talked about. What you like about it, I actually put it on my face, and my skin just sucked it up. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just like you put it on, and it, it absorbs, and it leaves your skin just really soft and radiant, and it kind of makes your texture, for me anyway, it made the texture of my skin change okay. for the best without breaking right, me out. Exactly. And it, and it kind of gave it, I don't want to say a lift, but I noticed after I applied, and it only took like a drop for me. One drop, well, and I sprayed know, my whole it, face. It and it kinda, yeah, you know, and it replenished. Yeah, but it replenished the skin. That's the good thing about it. And it actually made my skin look like it was firmer mm-hmm. on my neck well, and my finished. face, and I liked it. And and uh, and it feel like your skin, you know, glad that you didn't gave it a treat, you know, <laughs> where. I mean, you can actually feel the elasticity and all, yeah, all the good that's things what I mean by and the, the benefits aspect of, of, it, exactly. of, um, of using it. But as I say, you know, I'd say like this, you know, people who want to follow up with it and try to get their own, I was telling them to go to romak.com mm-hmm. and uh, check out the items that they got. They got some pretty nice products there. Yeah, now, how do you spell that, Mona? Mouth? We're going to see in the first uh, Okay, we're going to spell it A R O M A K A Y E. Dot com. That's okay. C-O-M, in case they understand, dot com, you know, okay. obsolete, you know. Yeah, because when I was on there looking, they actually had some f- a free shipping special on the two particular oils. And like you said, they had a couple other products also, too. But mm-hmm. I like them. Everything that I tried, I like them. So. Okay. Well, we're going to close out for here, and we'll be back after these messages. We sure And will. Um, enjoy. Call a friend while we're on this break. <laughs> Talk to you later. Peace. We'll be back. You're listening to KD on the Motor Mouth Show on 103.1 WEOM, Thomasville, North Carolina. Live and in full effect, this is Black Leaf online. And whenever I listen to the radio, I listen to WEOM 103.1 FM with KD and Motor Mouth.